Hello developers, today we are going to build an artificial intelligence based virtual agent. By the end of this video, you will have a working assistant that you can customize and use in your own project. End users today expect seamless 24-7 support. Virtual assistants provide an easy to use natural language interface. For any businesses, providing such a seamless, always available support is a priority. Today you will build an AI virtual agent using NLP. Let's get started. We'll be using a candy kit to build this AI solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kits gives you ready to deploy solution with complete source code. You can access many more such ready to use candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on candy. Today we'll be using a popular candy kit which is AI virtual agent one click install kit. Now this kit is open source and comes with a permissive license that means you can freely edit customize and share your own solution. So let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands-on walkthrough. Hello all. I hope you all are excited to build your own artificial intelligence model today. To build a virtual agent, you will require the following. First, you will require a training data set comprising of frequently asked questions, articles. Second, you will require libraries for pre-processing these articles like Linguistics and Text Hero. Third, you will require Sentence Transformer so that you are able to convert these processed text into machine understandable embeddings form. Fourth, we will require a cosine similarity that will help you compute the similarity between user query and the stored embeddings. All this is already available in the candy kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the candy kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the required prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here. You can also follow the instructions listed here so that you can do a manual setup. Now you can pause this video, complete your installation once ready, hit resume and we'll jump right into the build-up of your virtual agent. Superb! Hope you all are set. If you have successfully finished your setup, this Jupyter Notebook will open for you. Let's deep dive into the Jupyter Notebook. So, first of all, we have provided with our FAQAS, which is our frequently asked question data set into the CSV format. Then we are storing it via pickle into a file. We have imported all the necessary libraries here. And then we have loaded our data set into a data frame format, which you can see here has a couple of records which talk about what is candy and you know different questions about the candy kit. You can have any other data set as well. What we are doing further is we are removing any unnecessary text, any punctuation, stop words. We are basically removing any digits which are not necessary and which are not required by the machine. So on our question column, or this is our query question column, we will apply dot pipe remove digits and remove punctuations. And after removing everything, we will store it into a processed queue column, which is this, which no longer has any digits or any question mark symbols or any stop words. After that, we have loaded our sentence transformer for converting this process text into machine understandable embeddings form. We are storing these embeddings using pickle.dump into a file. Up till here, we are finished with our training part of our model. Then, now we need to test our model. So for testing, we have again loaded these stored embeddings. And within this spread underscore answer, what we are trying to do is on our test query or the user query, which we are fetching from here, we are processing it and putting it into our data frame format, then removing the digits and punctuations as well in, in, from this query and storing it into another column called clean user query and then applying the cosine similarity to compare the clean user embedding with the stored embeddings. 
so whichever embedding is closest to the user embedding that would be you know fetched and against that fetched user uh, fetched embedding we will be able to get the answer to this query based on a lookup that will happen for the matched query from the data frame so we can see for the query where we have asked about tell me about candy we are able to get candy is a platform that helps you know this is the response that we have been provided by our model so this is a simulating uh, virtual agent uh, that we have created for you so that you can test this model for yourself and let's just run it so now we can test our model here by asking some quick questions what is the use for of candy so it will tell that you know it can be used to collect some code samples api cloud functions pick write libraries etc and maybe we can ask another question like how can or maybe what are the functions provided by candy so it will give me the same answer that it has some 430 million let me change some question and ask what functions i can perform using the candy bits so for this it has given me that you know it has given me this answer where two options are present one is for search another is for explore right so we can use this model since we now have our own working model you can play with it understand it explore it and even customize it so now you have a working prototype of the model and to customize it let me help you uh, with how you can customize this model so first of all you need to go to the folder where you have this kit installed within the folder you will be seeing that there is a faqs uh, which is your data set that you have used to train the virtual agent and you can create another csv file like i have created which is this ml faqs this has some you know questions based on machine learning so i'll just call it into our code first so we just have to call it here and say restart and run all so mostly what will happen now all these same steps would be followed on this new csv file that i have input like you can see this is different file it is talking about deep learning machine learning and deep learning something on supervised etc you can input whatever you like right for which you want to build this virtual agent for the kind of application that you want to work with right so let's see how the virtual agent responds let, let us ask something about what what is supervised learning so yeah it's giving us some answer supervised learning is when you know the outcome and you are provided with the fully labeled outcome data etc right and we can also ask tell me about deep learning and it's giving you answer on deep learning as well right so that is how you can customize your uh, you know model to any set the any data set that you would like to train this virtual agent on so i hope you are set now and congratulations we are done finishing this interesting use case for you hope you found this session useful using a candy kit is a great way to build ai predictive engines You can find the link to the AI virtual agent kit and many other ready to deploy kits in the description. Head over to Candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain and many more. 
try out Candy Kids now. Hit that subscribe button and join us at the Open Weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects. Thank you for watching this session. Till the next one. Bye bye.